Are you getting overwhelmed frequently? This meditation is for you. It's all about taking the stresses of modern society and breaking down into components and giving you some techniques in order to reduce the sensation of overwhelm and actually what to do if you feel that sensation altogether. So in this meditation, go ahead and get in a position, any position will work. You can lie down, you can sit down on a couch. We're going to enjoy a fire tonight or during the day, whenever you're viewing this. And just stare into the fire and listen to the noise that it makes. Sense the warmth on your skin and see how it relaxes you. The goal of this meditation is to prepare for periods of overwhelm. And to do that, we want to program the subconscious to kick in when we are at the height of overwhelm. And the reason why is because when we're overwhelmed, not only is our body all tensed up, but our mind is all tangled up and chaotic. And it won't even recognize that we're overwhelmed. So, in the first step, after we take a few deep breaths and really get into the relaxed state, we're going to go straight into the subconscious and make a commitment. The commitment is that we will consciously recognize when we're about to get overwhelmed or when we are already overwhelmed in a state of great stress in a state of great distress and we contract with ourselves to take a micro break and I want to fully experience what a micro break feels like and I say micro because it's going to be a very short amount of time, but it's a mental break away so that you can do specific things to get you back on track and make you more effective during this overflowing period. So imagine that you are at work or at home or you're watching kids or you're doing whatever that typically could make you feel overwhelmed. Lots of tasks, lots of expectations levied on you. And according to the subconscious contract you just made, you just now realize this is the time that I'm overwhelmed. And it now is a state of very quick surrender which is your body just goes relaxed. You exhale, inhale possibly, prioritize, contract with yourself. I can only do my best. I can't do more than my very best. And so what is my top priority right now? What is my top priority? Am I doing that well? Imagine yourself doing the top priority very well, taking deep, relaxing breaths, nice and slow into that vision. Contract with yourself to do your very best with that particular priority and go, go do it. The break. In your mind's eye, the break, the, the micro break is now finished, but the meditation continues. That micro break is one technique on how to work through the period of deep overwhelm. 
it does not serve you to continue working chaotically because we have shown scientifically that people cannot multitask. Typically have to just do one task at a time. And in that micro break, you're just getting a reorientation to your biggest, most important task. And are you doing it well? And if you have time, a quick visualization of what doing that task well actually means. There are lots more techniques for overwhelm. And we're going to go through these. I want you to get back into a deep state of relaxation by breathing. Breathing in the fire before you. Go back at the campfire, rejuvenating. And the rest of this meditation can be in this environment, in your mind's eye, right next to a fire, hearing the crackling in the background. And in your mind's eye, I want you to pick up some ropes. And these ropes are attached to certain projects that you have going on. And these can range from family to your occupation to things that you have to do on the house, fixes for your car or financial concerns and this long laundry list of things that you have to do. So you're going to have lots of different ropes. And somehow, just in your mind's eye, you have enough hands to cover all these different ropes. And they're pulling hard on you, on all your hands. But you realize now that there's only one of you. And so you have to release your ropes on all of the ropes except for one or two. And I want you to spend some time doing this exercise in your mind's eye and figure out exactly which ropes, you might already know right now, which ropes did you continue to hold on to and which ropes did you let go of. It doesn't mean that you're dropping the ropes. It just means that you're loosening the grips on some of them. But on one or two of these ropes, you're not loosening at all. These particular projects or tasks are non-negotiable in your mind, in your heart, in your heart of hearts. These represent your highest values, your highest priorities. And these should always be generally towards the top of your priority list. The power of priority is very important in terms of the feeling of overwhelm. If you're feeling overwhelmed, one of the best things you can do is stop and prioritize. I have one more technique for you. And in order to do this one, I want you to send yourself to a classroom. And you're sitting at the desk, you're sitting towards the board, and you're waiting for the instructor. As the instructor walks in, you recognize them. They're the most wisest person in your life. They go to the front and they write two numbers on the board. 80 and 20. This person, this wise person is going to instruct you on the 80-20 rule. In your mind's eye, the instructor is having you 
create a list of all the things that you have to do currently, today, or this week, or this year. In your mind's eye, create some of these tasks that need to be done. Spend some time adding to the list. You don't have to write them down, just in your mind. What are these tasks? And now, the wise person instructs you to prioritize. Again, we're back to prioritizing. Prioritize your list. The most important topics, tasks, projects, suspense items. These are at the very top of your list. The least important are at the bottom. Now comes the wise person instructs you on the 80-20. After you have identified all your tasks, and after you have prioritized them in terms of importance, and prioritized them properly, they are telling you to take the top 20% of your list and do those first in order. And if you do the top 20%, it will feel like you have accomplished 80% of your to-do items, even though you've only accomplished 20% of them. The 80-20 rule is extremely important in a hustle-bustle world such as the one we live in currently. If you're overwhelmed, you can circumvent this, hopefully, by employing the 80-20 rule before you get overwhelmed. And you prepare for the day with putting out all your tasks, looking at all your tasks, writing them all down, sorting them by priority, and then identifying the top 20% of the list. So if there are 100 items, the top 20% would be the top 20 items. If there are 20 items on the list, the top 20% would be four items. Last and most important about overwhelm is to trust that the universe will not give you more than you can handle and that you must relax into knowing that you operate as a human being the best not in a multitasking environment, but choosing one task at a time. And it may be that you have to do several projects currently in parallel, but only doing one task at a time. And finally, awareness give you choices. The feeling of overwhelmingness is largely unconscious for most people as they get more and more stressed out. They get more and more hopeless and helpless. The more their heart beats harder, the more stress they put on their system. So make a contract right now with yourself that you will recognize when the feeling of overwhelm is upon you and you will take a micro break or a longer break. Sufficient time to relax, rejuvenate, and prioritize. And visualize the task 
that you have considered the highest priority. This is one of the most important things to remember is that awareness gives you choices. We are at the conclusion of this fireside meditation. If you enjoyed the meditation, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. There will be more meditations coming. Meditations for your everyday life. Be well, and thank you for coming by.